Well, hello everybody. I decided that once again, since it seemed like a lot of people liked it, I would have one more story. I found one more story in here that I thought was worth reading. It's called Horse Chestnuts from Annie and Simon. I done read one story, the beginning of it, the beginning of the book. And now this is the last story, I think. Horse Chestnuts. So, without further ado, I will start the story of Annie and Simon and Hazel, Annie's dog. And here we go. Horse Chestnuts. I like the first picture. It's one reason why I decided to read this. It's because Simon is pulling Annie by a store downtown. He's pulling, he's pulling Annie and Hazel in a wagon. And this begins our story of horse chestnuts. <laughs> Have one moment, please. I forgot to put on my glasses. Here we go. So the story starts out. Simon pulling Annie in a little wagon downtown. And here we go. Horse chestnuts. Annie and Hazel rolled home from the music shop in the green wagon. Simon led the way. Hang on to my new guitar string, Annie. I'm hanging on, Simon. Hey, the wagon went over a bump. This is fun, said Annie. I love summer. I think I love summer the best. Maybe you do, said Simon, but summer ended three days ago. It's fall now, Annie. Fall, said Annie. Really, Simon? Then maybe I love fall the best. Simon pulled the wagon past the park. Look, said Annie. Nuts everywhere. Neat, said Simon. Horse chestnuts. Let's take them home, Simon. Ouch! I'll get the prickly ones, Annie. Simon helped Annie fill the wagon with nuts. With horse chestnuts. Excuse me, I think I put the book out of the picture. I'm going to have to monitor this. Annie helped Simon pull the wagon home and carry it on the porch. Can we eat the horse chestnuts now, Simon? Nope, said Simon. Only squirrels can eat horse chestnuts, Annie. But what about horses? asked Annie. Horses, said Simon. I don't know about horses. Annie and Hazel and Simon went inside and sat at the kitchen table. Here's your new guitar string, Simon. I'm hungry. Thank you, said Simon. Have a banana. Simon unwound the old string from its peg. Annie peeled her banana and she looked out the window. Simon, there's a squirrel in the garden. What do you know, said Simon. It's got a nut in his mouth, said Annie. It looks like a horse chestnut. You don't say, said Simon. He tried to wind the string onto its peg. 
The squirrel's digging a hole, said Andy. Now it's dropped the nut into the hole. This winter, said Simon, that squirrel will dig under the snow and eat the nut for dinner. It'll be all muddy, said Annie. Squirrels don't mind, said Simon. Grrr. The squirrel's back with another nut, Simon. Annie made Hazel a banana peel hat. Here's the squirrel again, Simon. That's three whole nuts. Let's go get ours. Annie ran to the porch. Hazel came too. The green wagon was empty. Hey, said Annie, my horse chestnuts are gone. Simon stuck his head around the door. Uh, uh, I wonder where all those nuts were coming from. Annie sat down on the top step. Hazel sat down. Two. Oh, bad squirrel, said Annie. What a thing, said Simon, and he sat down too. One squirrel burying all those nuts so fast, said Simon. Simon fiddled with his guitar. Annie wiggled Hazel's ears. Everyone thought about the missing nuts. Maybe it was a gang of squirrels, said Annie. What do you think, Hazel? Hazel gave her ears a shake. She waved her nose this way and that. Then she sniffed inside the green wagon. Sniff, 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 sniff. She sniffed around the porch. Sniff, sniff, sniff. She sniffed down every step. When Hazel reached the bottom, she wagged her tail and dove under the big fern. Annie poked her nose under the big fern too. Simon, it's the horse chestnuts. Hazel found them. Simon came to see. Excellent, he said. But who put the nuts here, asked Annie. Maybe the squirrel didn't want other squirrels to steal the nuts in the wagon, said Simon. Oh, said Annie, so it hid them as fast as it could under the fern. Now it's burying them one by one in the garden, where they will be safe for the winter, said Simon. That's so clever, said Annie, and now we can take them all back. Simon raised his eyebrows. Annie frowned. I guess we could leave the squirrel a couple of nuts, Simon. A couple something, said Simon. Or maybe half, Annie said. Half would be nice, he said. Simon plucked his sweet new guitar string. Ta-wang! 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 Annie looked at the horse chestnuts again. Then she picked out three nuts. Here, Simon, one nut for you, one nut for me, and one nut for Hazel. The squirrel can keep all the rest. Simon gave Annie a kiss on the top of her head. Right here. And You know, he said, you're my favorite little sister. I know, 
said any and so ends the horse chestnuts taken from the book of Annie and Simon and the last picture is a squirrel with a horse chestnut in his mouth right there if you can see that you're looking too close I'm <laughs> just joking but when you think about it the nut that Annie saved for herself for Simon and for Hazel they're not gonna eat them because they can't eat horse chestnuts so she probably just saved them for something to look at and this ends the horse chestnuts from Annie and Simon well I hope you liked it I like the story quite a bit that's why I read it I liked Simon uh, walking downtown by that nice looking store I think the artist does a good job sometimes he draws things that has been in the place where I live like a like a bookcase or something and uh, I played the guitar so I liked it because uh, it looks like uh, Simon plays the guitar too and it seems like the children like the stories too so this ends Annie and Simon the horse chestnuts goodbye I hope you like it I really was thinking to myself should I do it or should I not so I decided to read it so now goodbye if I can turn this off here we go one a two and three